Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple first person character in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is very uh, simple tutorial. Uh, previously I show you how to create many blueprint including master. Um, I just show you the demo. You can see this is in here. So I just uh, uh, create a folder, right button, uh, new folder, I name it character. And then I uh, click right button and I go to the blueprint and from there I select a character blueprint and I name it uh, Cypher character. And then right button, blueprint class, I select uh, the game mode base and I name it uh, Cypher game mode. And then I go to blueprint class and now I create a player character, player controller. I name it uh, Saiful Pillar Controller. Now I save all. Now each uh, uh, character, the mode, and controller have a different variation, different use. I'll show you that. So I just open Player Controller. This is the Player Controller. Now I just open the game mode, game mode base and from here default pawn class. Here I just add Saiful uh, character. Just press right button and search Saiful character. It will add. And on player uh, player controller class, I just add my Saiful player controller class. Now I save all. Now I go to the uh, project setting from edit and here you can see two mapping, action mapping and axis mapping. I create a input in axis mapping. I name it forward. I already have some uh, input because I use a third person project, demo project. That's why. But if you start from scratch, you will have nothing in here. So I add another uh, input, I name it right move and the first one is uh, forward move. Now here is only one input, here I uh, press the plus sign and create another input. And if you uh, press the button you want to add, uh, for example me left, uh, left alter and I press mouse left button and it's added here automatically. It is the quickest way to add. Now the same way I can add S, uh, I give the value to minus 1, but if you press uh, the input and you can search and add uh, as your own way, there is a lot of, uh, lot of uh, key. Uh, now I add uh, right move, I press A and press mouse left button then i press d and mouse left button and click there and it will automatically add the button i give the a value to minus one now we have uh, previously different game mode now i just add my own game mode cyphol uh, game mode and if i uh, play it alter p uh, there is our character but we cannot move forward backward we cannot jump we cannot see anything now if we uh, we can check it if we check uh, uh, toggle debug camera and if we go we have our character but it uh, don't have any mesh or something like that we cannot move uh, or we cannot see so go to the character again And I just uh, from the components, I just press add and I add a camera. And I uh, move the camera to up upward location axis Z sixty value. So go to the event graph and delete unnecessary. We have some settings by default. I just delete it. We don't need it now. 
so we have two input uh, now if we right button on the event graph and search it um, for our move we have the axis uh, input and the right move now we uh, add the uh, control rotation and uh, on the forward move i add a function call add movement input i just copy it control c control v and edit the same function with uh, right move just add the axis value you need to add the axis value to scale value otherwise it uh, won't work so i make it little further so i add another function so from uh, get uh, control rotation i add a function called get forward vector and from there also i add a function uh, get right vector and add the value to wall direction forward to forward movement and the right to right movement now save all and if we play now we can go forward backward uh, left right w to forward s to backward a to uh, left and d to right you can see it so we just add a first person character basic movement input now i want to add uh, two uh, axis button also input also the one is uh, uh, turn if we go to uh, move our mouse to left uh, we will see left if we move our mouse to right we will see right and another input is the loop up we can use our mouse button to look up and down basic uh, first person third person game have the function so from turn i add a mouse x and from look up i add mouse y and mouse y scale value should be uh, minus one so i add turn and i add uh, look up but i don't find the look up because i misspell the uh, the look up uh, name uh, because if we miss any name we cannot uh, uh, find the function so i name it loop up that's why i don't find so uh, i do it on purpose so name it loop and if we search it again there you have the name look up so i add the function uh, uh, to the turn uh, control yo input we didn't uh, need to add any, any more uh, function just add that is value to the value and on the look up i add add uh, control pitch pitch input and add the value compile and save now select the camera and use pawn control rotation if you don't uh, tick it you cannot uh, turn uh, left or right so play again now if we use our mouse so we can look up and down and we can see right and left so we can move with uh, d w s a d and we can look uh, wherever we want we can go to the uh, stair and basically we can move like a first person character and uh, if we want to go to the toggle debug camera again we can go that also so go to the toggle uh, debug uh, camera now we can go anywhere but we cannot see our character because we don't have any mesh to see the character but you can see we can move with our first person character
so now if we add a mesh to the first person character it will move like that we have character movement we can uh, increase and decrease function here and we can affect it on our character movement for example i decrease the maths work speed it's default 600 but i made it 100 so you can see i move slowly very slowly you can do the same thing using the function so we can add uh, other function also i go to the project setting again previously i add axis mapping now i add to action mapping and i add a jump we already have a jump but i uh, i add a jump uh, to i name it jump to and i add a space bar you can do it uh, by searching or just uh, press space and mouse left button it will add it so on event graph i just add jump to now you can see we have a two uh, function press and release but on the axis value they have both axis value button so on the press i add jump and on the release jump stop jumping compile and save now we, if we play we can uh, move and we can jump you can see i look to the bottom and i can jump so this is for today's tutorial i hope everybody like it so bye bye everybody